Your teenage years are said to be the best years of your life. Living carefree, hanging with friends, and attending school should be your only concern. This is not true for Latina teens in America who represent the largest and fastest growing rate of teenagers attempting suicide. Why is this particular group at such a high risk? First we take a look at the feelings these young girls may experience that lead them to the suicide attempt. Most people who attempt suicide can be diagnosed with major depression, so that just means they meet the criteria, which means that their mood would be low for more than two weeks. Um, their um, activity level will go down, their interest in activities that used to be enjoyable to them will be lessened. That's exactly how Latina teens that eventually seek help describe their state before contemplating suicide. Dr. Sanchez of Woodhall Medical and Mental Health Care Center explained that the issues Latina teens describe stem from tradition and how the girls are raised and treated at home. Danielle Mojica speaks from personal experience. It was rough. Like It was hard because my father figures were my brothers. Mm -hmm. So in terms of them being strict and my mom trying to keep me out the you know, not being ghetto and keep me out of the, the, the whole bad environment. She always try to keep me in the house and you got to do this and this is what a woman is supposed to do. Stay home, cook, clean, go to school, come back. Then you come home and you hear otherwise and it's always like, oh, it was always uh, my parents on one side and my friends on the other. To teenagers, it may seem as though their parents don't care about their wants or needs, but to parents, this is exactly how they show their love. This was especially true for Graciela Garay, who was sent to New York from Panama by her mother for better opportunities. Mama used to always cut me close to herself because she didn't want me to go and get pregnant at early age and waste my life in Panama. So she was having a, my, you know, keeping an eye on me all the time. So mommy said, your goal is for your own good. You're going to have a better education. You're going to have a better life. So I accepted. I cried a little bit on my way here. Then when I got here, I cried a lot because I miss my mother. Because I know my mother, what was she was going through over there, you know? And then um, I missed her. I just couldn't wait for her to call me and me speak to her. And I used to tell her on the phone, I don't like it here. I want to go back. But Graciela knew her mother did what was best for her. And this is how most Latina parents raise their daughters. Rosa Cifre of Latina Suicide Prevention Organization, Life is Precious, explains that in order to prevent this alarming issue, parents need to learn how to communicate with their daughters. Programs such as Life is Precious and Woodhall's Latina Adolescent Suicide Prevention Campaign may very well be the lifeline that these teenagers need. Discussing the issue and promoting awareness are also quite helpful. For Stony Brook News, I'm Kiana Gordon.